Hey guys, welcome to another edition of CryEngine Gaming presents Skyrim Remastered PlayStation 4 mods weekly, fortnightly. I'm still trying to decide what it is we're actually going to do on this. Uh, basically, uh, what I'm doing because it's, it usually comes out on a Friday. I'm doing this a day early because tomorrow is going to be absolutely rammed full of stuff to actually do, uh, <clears throat> especially with the uh, kids, especially. Uh, so I hope you don't mind having this a day early and I'll also be doing a Fallout 4 uh, PlayStation 4 mods uh, directly following this so if you are looking for those be sure to check that out as well. Getting right off the bat uh, I'm going to cover one of these mods which okay it's not that one it's not that one either okay it's not showing it on this there you go uh, basically this is a map marker mod which uh, there is one already out there which is called uh, the visible map markers it basically makes every possible map marker within the game uh, visible for you to actually travel to uh, and discover for yourself instead of not knowing where or not having a general idea of where they, they are this one however actually gives you all the map markers as found so if you if you're looking to do a brand new game save and you don't want to travel around everywhere all over again and find everything uh, and you just want a shortcut from place to place this is definitely a mod for you uh, there is a Japanese version as well if you're looking for it and I believe there's some other languages as well I'm not too sure but uh, yeah this is the second one that's in here this is the English version <clears throat> uh, got Succubus Essence Draining Spectral Beauty uh, is she is a player mod, a uh, companion mod. Rustic weathers and lighting, clothing, forge crafting, blood moon, land of werewolves, which is a quest mod. And from what I've seen of another video which someone did, it does seem to be a pretty good one. Uh, realistic animal loot, which basically gives you a lot more things you can do once you. Uh, once you actually kill and uh, take things from an animal, Arcadia will now have more stock as well, including chicken feathers, uh, be to craft arrows, and hawk feathers. <clears throat> A TLS combat realism system, amazing race tweaks for Nords. Basically, this if you have a Nord player, which oh, a large portion of people do. Uh, it just gives you a couple of new amazing race tweaks, uh, which include like the Talos Fave, which is a Talos Blessing Nords for 20% faster cooldown between shouts, Sign of the Warrior, which is better for block heavy armor, light armor, one handed, a smithing, two handed skills that are all learned 10% faster, and the list goes on and on. Uh, there is also a similar mod for if you play as a Dark Elf and Argonian, and I'm guessing there are going to be some more different races somewhere within this. <laughs> Scardia, Winter Goddess, I've lost count how many times this has popped up. Stay Arrow, Stay. Uh, enjoy making pink cushions out of the Denzins, or uh, Dezins, uh, Citizens, uh, of uh, Skyrim. I'm going to uh, change it to my own liking. Then look no further, Stay Arrow, Stay is here. This amazing little mod makes arrows stay longer in the world space and in actors and also slightly tweaks the chance of to loot arrows of slain enemies. It alters the following. 50 arrows stay in the world space, space, normally 15. 25 arrows stay in actors, normally three. Arrows stay for 2.5 real time minutes instead of the normal 10 seconds. And you have a 50% chance to loot arrows back from dead bodies, normally 33% chance. Poor Lydia. <clears throat> uh, Poise craftable mods. Okay gives you a bunch of new things you can actually craft which look like your basic generic stuff so if you're looking to decorate your own houses uh, and this is definitely for you attunement spheres spheres blood potion bone mean bean is that supposed to be bone meal or bone man bean ah, hello silver balls charcoal charred skeevers statues of developers flutes uh, the world of puzzle cubes Dynamo cores, form of blood elixirs, forks and knives. Okay. Uh, glass, gold silver goblets, gold silver plates, gold septims. So basically you can make your own gold. 
Okay. <clears throat> Headsman's Axe, Honey, Imperial Warhorn, and the list goes on and on and on. Okay. Uh, the mod also allows you to melt some of these down for the components. Some of them are unable to be melted down due to the components. Uh, some also require certain perks, and the weapons craftable are upgradable. Okay. Uh, one thing I will quickly say as well, uh, I did a video the other day for the color changeable uh, nocturnal robes. One thing I did forget to put in the video, uh, which I only found out afterwards, is those those nocturnal robes can't be upgraded. The, the original ones can, the craftable nocturnal robes, but the ones that you can find in the chest have a level 33 base armor. So you can still compensate that by making uh, a set of boots or a, a wrist guards or something like that to try and off balance this a little bit so you're still actually overpowered. And if you get the uh, if you get the blacksmith ring out of the adventurous chest, which increases your thing by a hundred thousand, your blacksmithing skill or something like that, uh, you can make a pair of boots which basically have the highest possible armor rating uh one thing word of warning with that though if you are doing it and your skill level goes up to 100 in uh, 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 blacksmithing your gear will eventually revert back into the hundreds so you might have your armor rating up into the 2000s or something like that be careful when you keep uh, when you keep improving it because eventually it will reset to something like 110, 113, and you will not be able to alter it again after that. You won't be able to go back through and keep up. You won't be able to reset any blacksmithing or anything like that. You'll basically just be stuck with that. And unless it's a craftable item, which you can do it all over again, then you're going to be stuck with it. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. The recall craftable pack. Uh, recolor armors to your own liking uh, as you can see on this one this is the blades armor and it's been done more to like an ebony armor type of style and yeah you, basically you do this with the blacksmithing and you can make your armors look a little bit better if you're not particularly happy with the the uh, the glass armor looking green or gold armor of the Dwarven armor, you can turn it black or any of another any other color which seems to be listed in this. Uh, golden and silver armory set. TLS assassins. Uh, once this mod is enabled, four assassins will come to your aid in your battles. They always sneak and don't trigger pressure plates. If they die, uh, they're set to respawn whenever your game NPC respawn time is. Uh, the Oh, okay. Proud Spire Manor. Proud Spire Manor, the most luxurious and detailed house in Skyrim has to offer what it was until you step outside. The back balcony was severely lacking in detail, especially for the 25,000 gold you pay for it. This mod aims to change that by adding tons of new detail on all new furniture. It's where a few bugs bugs that linger such as book falling into the balcony and the uh, plates flying all over the place he does have fixes coming so if you are looking to make your proud spy manor in solitude uh, look a little bit better then this is definitely the mod for you uh, dreamweaver ports of call covered this before magic barrage standalone magic called winter hall skyrim restored Master Crafter's Armor. Uh, this mod is an armor set that makes alchemy and enchanting and smithing, and it can be found in the Master Crafter's chest in the Dwemer Museum of Markov. Many more spells. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, spells added in, uh, well, adds many more new spells that can be found in a new room in Dragon's Reach. The trapdoor is the room where Farangar sleeps. The spells are Ethereal Shield, uh, Insect Swarm Blazes, Searing Embers, Burning Ashes, Slow Time, Elemental Wraith, Poison Dart, Fury Sting, Fear Sting, Poison Spit, uh, Hypnotic Charisma, Mind Control, Freezing Ice, Ice Volley, Light Beams, Tentacles, yeah, 
oh, uh, two variants, same effect as Mirak stuff. Uh, freezes time, acid, uh, healing beam. Uh, conjure ancient dragonborn, summons a powerful dragon priest. Uh, holy beam, drain. Oh, okay, there's a whole world of new magic here, but uh, you get the idea. Uh, basically, this is going to be pretty good. By the looks of the picture, there, I'm guessing that's the one with the tentacles, uh, Mirak one. But uh, yeah, if your character's a mage, then this is definitely something you'll want to consider. Snowborn Manor, no NPCs. Uh, basically, this adds. <clears throat> A snowboard mine is an open concept, medium sized playhouse just to the west of the White Run Stables that features interior uh, Alchemy Lab, Alchemy, Ian, Arcane Enchanter, Arcane Well, three bedrooms, cooking pot, two display cases, uh, 12 Dragon Priest, uh, 12 Dragon Pit, God, what a tongue twister, 12 Dragon Priest mask busts, uh, six manne mannequins, oven, a paragon stone socket that would be for your uh, dawn guard stones that you can pick up uh, the planters for 12 uh, slots shrine of the divines nine weapons and shield plaques and this goes on for a whole lot of other stuff and then the exterior has got an apiary blacksmith forge crops fish pond grain mills grindstone another four planters planting soil for 16 uh, smelter tanning rack Wood chopping block, workbench, and theme storage for tanning supplies and smithing supplies. Okay, so uh, once again, as I always do, with any player home that you're going to download, don't store anything there that you're not prepared to lose. Uh, I've had this happen with the Dragonborn House, uh, Doverkin Manor, should I say, and I've also had it with the Bolgan Estate, unfortunately. And whenever there is an update, there's a good chance once you update your uh, DLC, uh, once you update the uh, mod for it, you are going to lose some stuff or possibly all your stuff that you've actually stored in any of the chests that are within that particular manner. So if you are going to store anything, save uh, save uh, uh, save any weapons, armor, bits and pieces, books, whatever you want to keep, save it at like a half firehouse and just enjoy the other houses for what they are, which is like modded content. <clears throat> uh, Snowball Manor again with NPCs. Uh, TLS alert system. Adds a necklace that you can craft at the forge and doesn't take a slot, changes the colors on screen when he, your health is below 40%, Magicka is below 20%, or Stamina is below 10 Basically, just to give you like a heads up when you need to improve stuff. Uh, women weight 100, tavern barkeep clubs, torches, mage, candlelight alterations. Uh, this mod was requested by a user, became yet another victim of the 100 mod limit on PlayStation 4. Uh, so he wanted him to make all these alterations into a single ESP file so he could have his women in tavern clothes and eat his cake too. <laughs> uh, he has altered the range of torches to 10 times the range that they should. Uh, so they should no longer burn out. For Mage Light and Candlelight, he's extended the duration of each spell to 5 minutes and the range of up to 25 meters. Uh, he helps meet the criteria of the mod. The uh, women whose clothes have been altered as four, uh, are, are as follows. Miri, Injun, Black Briar, Black Briar, uh, Lisette the Bard, Carletta, and Olfina, uh, Grey Men. Uh, these ladies default clothes have been changed to the tavern wench outfit. Uh, these three ladies have had their clothes all altered to the first barkeep outfit, uh, which is Ysold, Fastred and Camilla. All of them have had their weights increased to 100, uh, including Ayala and Miel. Miel, Joel, Mwah. Better weapons perk, mark for death books fixes, merchant death prevention, witching hour. Uh, they say on days of witches hour, one of seven hags retain their power and seek to devour mortal sin. Unfortunately, they come for Dolbekin. Uh Oh, and it just gives you a set days when you're probably gonna be, you're probably gonna have a hag uh, come after you to try to kill you. They are immortal, so they'll be back. Okay. Uh, as a reminder, may cause paranoia. <laughs> okay. Uh, Cult of Alduin. 
adds a female Argonian that can shout Dragon's Breath, the dragon kind, out at you. Uh, she will hunt you down and respawn from Riverwood. She can be anywhere. She will level with you. Uh, container and NPC loot diversity. TLS winter grass removal. All new races. Uh, this is a mod for the original Skyrim races are uh, changed into new races with their abilities and power. A lot more will be added later. This mod changes stats to give you a more RPG feel and this will give the game a whole new feel. Okay, and he's also provided a link for his YouTube if you want to check him out. Uh, Star Crusaders and Superior Treasure Rewards. Uh, no more dead followers and no more dead merchants. I've covered these before. Uh, poison Drink Crafting. Summon Followers Horses. Sewing in Skyrim. Uh, also mail for, available for PC and Xbox One. Uh, he is playing as a pacifist character who travels through Skyrim collecting raw materials and selling craft, craft goods. It bothered me when there was no option to craft mage robes. Uh, so he decided to, take, to make a lot of clothes in Skyrim craftable. You can find two crafting places, one outside Radiant, Radiance Raiments and one outside the Guardian Stones. Look for some round rugs. Uh, the player was supposed to sit on them cross-legged like the Khajiit traders, but they won't. Oh well. Uh, he made it for himself, but he, uh, he might as well share it so people can get some good out of it as well. Uh, the amount of required material is probably unbalanced. He will fix that as he's playing. Okay, so if you're looking for something you can craft mage robes, then there you go. <clears throat> Josh's mod beast mode activation activated. A real faster leveling mod. Okay. Uh, have you ever played Skyrim and wish that you could actually level up without grinding hours of your life away? Enter Beast Mode Activated. Beast Mode Activated is a mod designed to increase the rate of which ones improve their skills. Simply install and watch as your character becomes a god of Skyrim. Okay, overpowered. War on the Werber. Never sleep. The haunting. The haunting. Uh, when it is between 12 p.m. and 3 a.m., a ghost child and her mother will come to haunt you. The mother is hostile but afraid of water. Also, she levels with the player. If you manage to kill the mother, she she sets to the default respawn time. Warning: it, uh, may cause paranoia. You have been warned. Okay. Uh, Luna, the talking wolf. Garden Soldier Gear Diversity, TLS Skeleton Follower, Visual Time Alteration, Beauty of FPS, uh, the Beauty of Skyrim, Everything's Environment Trees, Water is so clear, and that stops all I do. And I have better f FPS than the vanilla game. Wow, what it does. Uh, jump like a professional basketball player, grass is calmer and more realistic, adds more race customized customization abilities imperial women never look so hot yeah. imperial women never look so hot uh lower cloud angels made weather and water colors more vibrant altered grass objects made subtle changes to skin tint and movement data races uh change sprinting to a more realistic yeah, to a more suspense all your life in medieval time drain uh, tweak camera settings to improve more frames per second. Uh, turns shader, shader particle geometric density. Uh, turns debris, debris percent. And oh, God, there's a whole lot of stuff here which we can go through. But it's a shame there's no screenshots to help you out. I'm always a little cautious with mods like that. There are nine downloads so far, and it's still got five stars, so it can't be anything too bad. Uh, Kalista the follower adds a female Nord called Kalista the Skyrim that follows you around and doesn't take up any companion spots. She is essential and cannot die and levels up with the player. And there's a couple of screenshots there for you. Uh, wearing a dragon mask. Okay. Weightless books and notes. Uh, squadron. Customize armory for what? To abuse it. Made constructible armors that hide the player's helmet, shows hands instead of gauntlets, has barefoot sounds, and uh, he's done so far for iron, steel, plate, dwarven, elven, glass, daedric, and he'll do more as he goes along. Again, no screenshots. Uh, Markov, supreme, supreme overhaul, weightless potions and poisons, better weapons, TLS 
slow time while casting spells. Change the description of look, okay. TOS improves sounds overhaul. New homes of Skyrim uh, adds a bunch of new player homes. And some of these look pretty good actually. Uh, for the Warrens in Riften, the Tower in Markov, and there's a list there of all the different ones you can be seen. Okay. The Scaled Healing Spell, Scaled Noise Destruction Spells, Four Spells, No Sneak Around Sounds, Control of Vibration Overhaul, Muted Restoration at Ready, Arcadia's Ingredient Safe, QA Smoke and Hidden Developer. Uh, all locations are found fast, fast travel from anywhere, throwing weapon pr project, Moldy's improved white run. Uh, you can wear circlets under with dragon masks. You can wear circlets with hoods, star thieves and assassins rewards, shadow reaper, bow of the shadows, uh, far far away fog, surreal lighting, immersive improved civil war edition, respawnable mercenaries, hardcore followers patch, these hand on arm combat, Demon's Path, uh, six versions of. Ah, oh, it's, it's armor, it's not a quest mod. I thought it was going to be some kind of quest mod then. Uh, upgrade unique items. <clears throat> uh, you, oh, yeah, that was the Japanese version, this is the English. Essential Followers Patch, okay, again. Uh, I've mentioned this before, but if you are going to download this multiple uh, multiple followers uh, system, just be careful because it can break your game. Uh, half runs axe, and that's it for now. Okay, so uh, as usual, uh, when I come to the end of this, I just want to say thank you very much to everyone who's actually watched my videos and. Uh, uh, one thing I can ask if you could please leave a uh, uh, either subscribe if you haven't already and leave a like on the video just to uh, uh, encourage by, by, uh, future videos it doesn't take five seconds just to click that, that like button and if you want to uh, if you want to make sure that you never miss uh, a video as well click on uh, the ask notifications as well uh, in future weeks uh, depending on what the latest uh, mods seem to, to actually be if I find I'm getting a lot of uh, repetition what I'm planning to do on the off week when I'm not doing the mods review I'm planning on doing one of these individual categories from animals, armor, audio, buildings, characters, cheats, clothing, collectibles, crafting, creatures, environmental foliage, foliage followers, gameplay and so on. So. If there is any category that you would like me to focus on first, leave it in the uh, comment section and I'll basically I'll actually to do that one. Uh, if there, but I'd prefer not to do just the via, via cheat section because there are hundreds of other people actually doing them. And But I will go through them as well if you, you want to see them. Uh, but obviously there is probably a lot more interesting stuff in the craftable or the creatures or the environmental foliage, uh, followers and gameplay ones so whatever you want to say leave it in the comment section and I'll, uh, I'll add that to my uh, future videos so once again thank you very much for, uh, uh, for, for tuning in thank you very much for putting up with my stuff and uh, <laughs> I'll see you in the next video and again thank you don't forget to don't forget to hit don't forget to hit the subscribe if you haven't already the like button and the notifications thank you very much see you later